Hello everyone. My name is Franklin Avangana. Welcome to my online tutorials, where I give you the insight on emerging technological issues affecting matters in education. Subscribe to my channel, so that you don't miss out on my upcoming tutorials. Subscription is free, you won't be charged anything instead, you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Welcome, and keep on learning. Hi. Today, I'm going to show you how to reset your TSC email account, or rather password, as well as how to update your TPA. Now remember, for you to reset your password, you must have provided the security details. That is, you have registered for self-reset services. If you didn't go beyond this step, during creation of your account or rather email account, you might not be in a position to do it. You'll have to see your county ICT personnel to reset it for you. But for those ones who provided either a phone number or an email for the self-reset purposes, you can do it with much ease. I'll also show you how to update your TP straight away from updating your profile picture your phone number and finally the email address so without much ado let's get into the pc and have this exercise done welcome so load your browser in the address bar just key in tsc.go.ke and hit the enter key from the page that appears Go to the hamburger menu, it will load site menus, move down to online services. From the drop down, go to teacher's email. Repeatoffice.com, enter your email address and click next. So you'll be asked to enter the password. In this case, I've forgotten my password, so I'll hit I forgot my password a link. You'll be taken to the following page where you need to enter the following security letters just to confirm that you are not a, a robot. Enter the letters that you see and click next be given the option on how you want to receive the code either a phone call or through a phone number the text key in your phone number where you intend the code to be sent and click on next so let's wait for the code select the second option i think the message has just arrived let me check the code Good, there it is. I'll key in the OTP, one-time password, and click Next. Now you'll be taken to this section where you need to create a new password. Don't use any of your names because the system won't allow. Just ensure to create a strong password. You can have capitalized letters, small letters, punctuation marks, and numbers just to make your password strong. At the same time, make sure you remember it. Click on next, and there you can get back into your account. But we still have one more step. Key in your email address. Click next. Enter the password we have created. then sign in so your organization needs more information to keep your account secure click on next select your account that should be the first one there are several because I have several accounts select text wait for the code when the OTP hits your inbox, key it there and click on verify. So the phone has been verified. Click on state in, yes. So 
so we are registering for self password reset services so that next time you don't need to travel to the county offices click ok if the phone number is correct stateside in yes Good, we have been taken to office 365. Your application will be loaded. Select the Outlook application. It will take you to your email inbox. You can see there we have the emails and we shall receive our code from this application. So you can go back to the TPay and begin the process of validating uh, the TPay. TSC.GO, move down to the TPay. There we are, enter your username and password and hit uh, login. Do the security stamp, that's just a simple arithmetic. Once you are done, you can now uh, log in. hit update my details now we are supposed to update uh, the profile picture in this case I'll take a selfie of my colleague here good I can now go back and upload it from my files select it click on done and then save picture give it some time to load and boom there we are you can see the profile picture has been uploaded we move to phone number <coughs> enter your phone number sorry and hit the get code button So a code will be sent to your phone, the number you have entered, once you receive the one-time password, you key it down here and hit validate phone number. So once you do that, a green message will be displayed that the phone number has been successfully validated we move to the phone number key in the ts email address and hit the get code button otp has been sent to your email so in this case you shall go back to our, our outlook application and check the code email inbox refresh and there we have the code open it and copy the OTP after copying go back to our email address under validate email we key in the code or you can simply paste and hit the validate email a green message is displayed email validated successfully email successfully validated so it is as simple as that i hope you have learned something from this tutorial if so give this video a big thumbs up comment and share above all subscribe to my channel and hit that bell on so that you don't miss out on my upcoming uploads thank you for watching see you then